This is the PlayStation 5, and for Sony, launching one is one of the most complex manufacturing challenges on Earth. The demand is insatiable. It takes a global network of over a thousand suppliers, a state-of-the-art robotic workforce, and a logistical operation of military precision to pull this off. The supply chain is a fragile web stretching across continents, and a single delay can cost the company billions. This factory in Kisarazu, Japan, is the heart of the operation, a place where a new console can be assembled from start to finish in just 30 seconds. But the real story isn't just the speed, it's the perfection. In a place where a single microscopic flaw can mean a system failure for a player thousands of miles away, there is no room for error. So how does Sony build a flawless machine on a global scale? And what does it take to ensure millions of them arrive on the same day all over the world? To understand Sony's obsession with perfection, you have to go back to its origin. In the late 1980s, the PlayStation was born not from a vision, but from a failed partnership with Nintendo. After that deal collapsed, Sony set out on its own, driven by a need to prove it could dominate the gaming world. That ambition is baked into the very DNA of the console. It starts in the design labs. Engineers don't just design a console, they design a manufacturing process. Every component, from the custom AMD processor to the casing, is chosen not just for performance, but for its ability to be assembled flawlessly by a robot. The design is a blueprint for an empire, where every piece must fit perfectly into a global puzzle. This is the Kisarazu factory floor. It's cleaner than a hospital and run by a workforce that never gets tired. 32 advanced robots perform a symphony of assembly. It begins with the motherboard, the nerve center of the console. One robot arm, just 22 meters long, handles all the wiring and flexible flat cables, a task once considered too delicate for automation. Today, it does the work with a precision no human hand could match. But this automation isn't about replacing people, it's about achieving a higher standard. Human engineers act as the conductors of this robotic orchestra. They oversee the entire line, their eyes trained to spot anomalies the machines might miss. Here, a person's role isn't to build, but to guarantee perfection. Once the motherboard is populated, the console's heart is forged. This is the custom-designed AMD chip, a marvel of silicon engineering. The robots then add the massive heatsink and the revolutionary liquid metal cooling system. This isn't just a fan, it's a critical component, born from years of research, designed to tame the immense power packed into the console's slim frame. Next, the armor. The iconic white panels are snapped into place, but they aren't just for aesthetics. The shape, the vents, the very texture of the plastic, it's all part of a sophisticated thermal design, ensuring the console can survive thousands of hours of gameplay without overheating. Before any console is allowed to leave the factory, it faces its final judgment, a series of rigorous automated tests. It is powered on, every port is checked, the disk drive is tested for flawless operation, the software is installed. This isn't a spot check. Every single console that comes off the line goes through this gauntlet. If even a single error is detected, the console is flagged and pulled from the line. It will not be shipped, it will be analyzed, and if necessary, recycled. Only flawless units proceed. It's a brutal, unforgiving process, but it's the only way Sony can maintain the trust of a global community that expects excellence with every press of the power button. This is where the operation expands from a single factory to the entire globe. The finished, tested and boxed consoles are loaded onto pallets, their journey tracked by a sophisticated logistics network. For a global launch, this becomes a high-stakes race against time. Sony uses predictive analytics to monitor shipments, adjusting routes in real time to avoid delays. They must coordinate ships, planes and trucks to ensure millions of consoles arrive at distribution centers around the world in a tightly controlled window. The goal is a shared global experience, the magic moment when millions of players from Tokyo to Toronto can unbox their console on the exact same day. From a broken partnership came a relentless drive for perfection. 
From a blueprint of ambition came a robotic symphony that builds flawless machines. The process is automated, the logistics are data-driven, but the purpose is deeply human. It's about delivering the feeling of holding the future in your hands. It's about the collective gasp of a midnight launch. And it's about the quiet joy of a single player turning on their console for the very first time. The robots may build the machine, but it's that final human connection that gives it its soul.